this is the part two for the tutorial or demo I actually made in the last video or the video before how to generate FMPEG filter flags using a configuration file that is very simple to do and today I have made the file even simpler so let's show you what we mean right so this is our configuration file for now this is our configuration file and that's how it looks this is the cuts uh the timestamp cuts and to show you the before which uses the original fmpeg um the original fmpeg you know uh format so this is the format right here and what I've done is that I've made it simple. I made it extremely simple for you to understand it. And I just recently got done with pushing the uh, pushing the new commits to the to the official GitHub repository. So GitHub dot four four three um four four three uh filter gen fmpeg and to show you so we go clone it and recursively clone it or update the sub modules that basically fetches the sub modules it dependent on format lib and i have written a script that basically does everything from compiling the dependencies compiling the source to come to actually running the program in a wrapped way with giving only two three three to four flags as options as arguments so let's uh so go uh do check it out if you are interested and i'm gonna show you now how all of this works so let's show you how it's done so the main program that generates the FFmpeg flags is written in C++. I didn't choose C because there is no reason to choose C. So here's the source code and now I'm afraid that the source code became a little bigger. So at this point it's 138 lines and it basically um fills out this format format options and uh, stats them against each other and that's how it basically works i'm not going to be showing you the code work too if you want to check this out go to the github page and uh, check it out yourself it's not a good c plus plus i'm assured so what i've done today is that i added some arguments so let's see gen filter so if you look at the getup page where i've documented this shit running this is basically you run it in a fi uh, in file then the number if you want to generate a thumbnail from the video so there are some cool things that happens here. So let me show you what they are. So first I'm going to show you how to uh, first you edit the videos uh, in a chunks and you basically so let's say uh, so let's say we have this config right here right so what you do basically that you take the first row and you cut the video into uh, that respective row then you go down and do the same and over and over again as many videos you have is equal to the number of lines of the code you have so let's delete let's push it back into the top i know you can't see it because it is 
because it is uh, my 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 laptop is 10, 19 by 10 so it's a weird aspect ratio so anyway uh we in order to compile it just to uh, trim compile and it basically does everything it can compile this uh the source it can compile the format layer which basically i have compiled already and if you see the signature so this is how you are supposed to use it so let's show you a demo let's say i have this video this is the previous raw video without editing on a short this is going to be a short tutorial how do i so this is the short video i mean the raw video and let's say we want to cut some parts of it right so let's say we want to generate a thumbnail right here right 0026 so in order to do that let's go to 0026 but and let's edit our configuration file so let's delete all of this and for simplicity's sake, let's just do two videos, right? So it's 026. So 26 or 00. It automatically adds. Uh, you, can, you can have small. You don't have to do the entire format like 00, 26, 00, whatever. You can just do 2026. 20, if you want minutes, then you can add minute. And I want to end this video let's say where I begin the work so it's one minute and 18 so one minute 18 zero zero so and let's uh, begin from one minute 18 zero zero so let's say one minute 20 zero zero and let's end the video at 10 32 uh, I mean, let's. Oops. Uh, no, we want to jump from the end of the video. So it's ten thirty-two. So basically, the end of the video. Ten fifty ten zero two. And basically, the end of the video is ten thirty-two. Zero, zero. If you want to add an hour, you can just append one hour. So this is our configuration file. Cat here. I just I'm very bad at naming. So this is the configuration file, right? So let's trim it now. So trim the in file the out file and we give it to your and since we are using this format we have to specify this flag std and we add the experimental flag it's going to be gone in future development commits but for now it's here so if you do std i'll do it before and it starts ready. all right let's see if our video uh what we, video is what we want it to be before why the seven so the it starts at the semi it doesn't really fix it yeah so this is where the cut is gonna be so yeah the cut is here and We have made so let's say you want to generate thumbnails so instead of this let's list our let's see our um configuration file again so this is a configuration file so let's say we want to start right here this is our thumbnail right so at, at this time so this is the second column 
So what are we going to do is we're going to do specify two and out dot jpeg it's all right all right so we basically um exceeded the number of lines we have so if number of lines starts from zero and it goes up to the you know so let's trim it again one dot out dot jpeg oh i just for debugging sake i did that so let's edit it again and then and actually run it all right so let's see out dot jpeg and as you can see we have a jpeg of my beautiful face right here now there's an interesting thing you can do which is dumping images of all the cuts you did so in order to do that you have to specify a dash instead of the number let's, let's specify a dash and oops oops sorry sorry let's remove all the jpeg files and so let's remove let's see so this is not the error so it's uh, only doing in one frame and it's complaining that it wants to dump all the files so it cannot do that that's why it's complaining don't worry just ignore it all right so image to what okay image two and now let's run it and then let's look at image two what yeah So we have two pictures now. And let's view all of them. So as you can see, it starts from this and goes to my beautiful face. So that's it. And if you want to generate more, you just add more lines to the configuration file. So let's do that real quick. Uh, let's say it's 10 so let's say five minutes and the end doesn't really matter so let's say five minutes zero 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 twenty two let's say do that and let's run it again All right, we deleted everything, now run it. Yeah. So as you can see, there's three images now. Let's see what kind of goodness I had to offer on the five minute mark. So this, this, and this. So you have three images and thumbnail. So I, I think it's pretty cool and I post it to the GitHub repository. GitHub.com will list 33 LB443 slash FMPEG filter. Link in description. Go check it out. So that's for this video. If you like it, like it, just like it, dislike it. And that's been a chill night for me now. It's been it's like 4 a.m. in the morning and I am up.